Hi, welcome to Opsimex Spinnaker training series. In this video, we will see how to integrate Spinnaker with Amazon EC2. So, um, to uh, integrate anything with Spinnaker, you need a credentials and accounts to it. For Amazon, um, we do have a um, kind of a kind of a management which is called managing accounts and managed account. So, this is as per the official uh, Spinnaker.io documentation. So, um, managing account is the account used by Spinnaker to authenticate into the AWS. And managed account is an account which is used uh, by the Spinnaker, which will modify the resources within the AWS. So, you can have n number of managed account, but we'll have only one managing account. So, authentication from managing to manage account is handled by IAM role, not by the Spinnaker. So if you want to do something um, on, on EC2 or, or any instances, so you, you will be handling the request by using IAM roles. The reason we have a one AWS managing account and multiple managed account is, let's say you have a, a multiple region and you do some security settings and other uh, reasons due to your compliance of infrastructure. With one managing account, you can have a multiple managed account and you can control your resources using that dedicated managed account. So uh, I'll give this uh, link and uh, all other details in the YouTube description notes. So to have your Amazon account, so uh, log in to uh, www.amazon.com slash free. So this will uh, able to create a free account for a uh, one year. So it is 12 months free and um, uh, it just required a credit card uh, and they'll charge you like probably $1 um, for, for a continuous use of 12 months. So you by, for this demo, the whatever account we are creating for as a free account is sufficient for that. So what I have done is I've already created an account. So let me log into the account right now. So, uh, the account uh, which I created is uh, Nix and me. That's an account. So first thing we have to do is uh, just copy paste uh, your account number. So uh, just go to a top right, select your account. After creating a new account, go to my account. I'm opening it a new tab. So this is where all your account details, your billing information, everything will be there. So I'm just copying the con account name and closing it. I'm going to note that in a text pad. So this is the account we're gonna do it. So uh, let's create the account. So go to your uh, services and uh, search for security identity compliance and you have to select IAM. So first we need to create a role uh, in AWS. So go to roles and uh, click create role. Select AWS service EC2 next. And uh, we're going to create a dummy role. And uh, so if you see the above uh, previous diagram, the, the role name is base IAM. And we have a spinnaker auth role. And using base IAM only, you're authenticating and managing your resources. And we have uh, policies for each one. So this is called spinnaker managed policies. So we will create policies and we'll create uh, IAM roles. So using the same uh, uh, diagram. So navigate to your um, um, create console page, create IAM page, and uh, don't select any of the services right now, any of the policies right now. Just click next, and you don't need to have any tag. If you have any tag and values to it, you can have it. And you're gonna name them. So what I have done is, if you go to our GitHub, official GitHub page for this tutorial, Opsimex, Opsimex Pinnacle tutorial, under it, I have created a folder called notes. And uh, that is a file called AWS IAM roles.txt. So all these details have already uh, enabled it over here. So simply copy paste the role. So here I've detailed the mentioned you have to get IAM role, do not add any roles or permission, just a blank one. So just copy paste the role and go to your console and give the name to it. And first thing is you have to create a role. Next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a managing account. So go back to your diagram. So this is what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna create a managing account and for that you need a user also for that and the username is Spinnaker. So go to your console and uh, for creating a managing account, first create the policies. So go to policies, create a new policy 
and uh, navigate to JSON file. So here we need to replace some of the codes from my GitHub. So if you go there, so there I've already created a policy for this. Simply copy the policy content, copy it, go to your console and paste it. So if you see um, here, I've mentioned about ARN and managing account ID. If you remember some time back, I had copied the account number. So just copy paste the number and replace it over here because this is the account. We're going to use it to authenticate via Spinnaker. So yeah, everything looks fine and we're going to have a Spinnaker managed account. Review it and you're going to name it. So the name also you can copy from the same git source. So paste it. So we had created a Spinnaker assume role policy created. So this is how uh, you can create a managing account. So now what we have to do is we have to create a Spinnaker user, Spinnaker user. So go to uh, users, click add user and the name is Spinnaker. And I'm going to create a programmatic type. Next. And I'm going to attach some policies to that um, newly to this newly creating users so attach existing policies and uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give the admin privilege so here in AWS uh, to give an admin privilege for a user it is a service policy call power power user service so select the power user access policy and also we just created um, one more policy right which is spinnaker assume role policy for the managing account so simply click that so now this Spinnaker user will have two policies. One is power user and also one is Spinnaker assume policy, which is already having the account number and Spinnaker managed policies. Just simply create this user. So upon creating, it will give you access ID key and secret access key. So you need this information. So copy it and keep it somewhere safe. And don't, don't share it with anyone or, or use somewhere like password protected where we can have this keys because using this key uh, it's how you're going to manage your entire uh, AWS using Spinnaker so use it with caution so since it's a demo and uh, tutorial ways it's fine because after this demo I'm going to clean all my keys so I just copied my user ID which is access key and also you need to copy your secret access key no worries I'm going to delete them uh, this key after the tutorial is over so paste your, uh, keep it somewhere safe and close it. So what we want to do is like, we need to have one more information about the user, which is called ARN, which you will be needing in the future policies. So select the user, select the user which you created, which is Spinnaker. And once you logged into the summary page, you can see user ARN and the ARN details of the Spinnaker. Simply copy this details and paste it on your text pad. You're going to need this in future policy creation creation. That's the reason I'm, I'm, I'm just copy pasting it over here. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is we're going to create manage role. So for that, we have to create a policy, create a policy, uh, go on JSON. And uh, if you go to my GitHub, so here I'm going to create a policy called Spinnaker pass role, copy the JSON and go to your console paste it and replace it with your account ID so account I'm going to replace it now the account and it is base IAM role so using this only you're going to authenticate it and the name which I'm going to give for this policy is Spinnaker pass role if you see here it is having full access and we have IAM right right role for that create a policy So now we have created a policy. Now go to roles, create a new role, AWS EC2, next permission. And now you have to give us power user. And the next thing is which we recently created. So this one, Spinnaker pass role, we have to select because this is the policy which we created. Next review it and we're going to give a name for this and the name is spinnaker managed 
so the name which we're going to give is spinnaker managed and create role so once you have created a spinnaker managed for a role go inside the spinnaker managed and go to trust relationship and edit trust so here go to your git and for spinnaker manage you have to add the details so go to your console um, select and replace if you see here AWS auth on remember uh, the moment we created a spinnaker user we copied the AR thing so you copy this one which you which you can get it on the spinnaker user and replace it here and update the trust policy so now we had created a complete setup of one managing account and one managed account so this is how you can do it manually but this is uh, something which is uh, manually I'm creating but there are some automated way is also possible which I will be showing in the next video so if you have more than one uh, AWS account and you want to manage it using one managing account you can have n number of managed account so with this I'm going to conclude this video and for more information and questions please reach us to opsamex.com thank you